heating and air. Nobody wows clients like we do. Meteorologist Angelica Campos is here with us with a look at a uh, pleasant forecast ahead, Angelica. That's right. May weather is here. We have the marine layer with uh, unsure winds impacting the mountains and deserts. And that is as far as we go with the month of May. May is typically a very uneventful month and we're starting that way. We're going to keep it that way for a little bit longer. Eventually we'll see a warm up and I'll show you when the temperatures will start to go up. Looking outside in Del Mar, getting a little hazy out there as the marine layer will start to roll back in in the downtown area. You can see those clouds getting a little bit lower and they also look a bit more heavy. 62 degrees right now in downtown San Diego across the county. Temperatures did drop today. Another three to five degrees in comparison to just 24 hours ago, and we expected the cool down today, the coolest day of the week, and then temperatures will start to go up. Although tomorrow, if the numbers go up, maybe one or two degrees, it's not going to be a huge difference. It'll be another lovely day around the county. 63 degrees in Fallbrook. It is 66 Alpine in National City, 62 degrees at this hour, 50s with 59 degrees right now in La Jolla. We're going to see some fog tonight, and that is because of the marine layer. It will continue into tomorrow morning. It'll impact our coastal communities and also our valleys. It's going to travel pretty far east, and I'll show you in the marine layer what that looks like in our future cast. Gusty winds will be targeting mountains and deserts Thursday through Saturday when the ongoing heat in place for the deserts elevated fire danger is expected. We're going to see temperatures heating up Sunday into next week as a ridge of high pressure moves in and that is going to keep some of those clouds away for next week as temperatures go up. But as the clouds get lower and heavier tonight, we could see a touch of drizzle overnight. You see the time there 3 a.m. This will continue for some areas in the morning and then it'll clear nicely for the valleys. But for the coast, we're going to see a mix of both both for most of the morning until it turns mostly sunny. So looking into our future cast, look at this ridge of high pressure just sits over the Pacific. Then it gets a little bit stronger as we go into next week. That will introduce warmer temperatures for next week, and you'll notice it all around the county. Most of the disturbances are going to stay well to the north, so no major changes. For tonight, temperatures will average in the upper 50s near the coast, expecting to see cloudy skies, inland communities. Also looking at clouds early tomorrow morning with temperatures in the mid 50s to start out the day, and the deserts keeping that mild weather in place overnight as well. At 10 p.m., still close to 80 degrees degrees near the coast for the next several days. 70 starting Thursday next week. The numbers will average in the mid 70s. Now look at the difference for inland valleys. We're going to see 80s on Thursday as temperatures go up. They drop briefly Friday and then they go back up next week into the mid 80s in the mountains. 77 degrees with 80s also expected on Sunday into next week as temperatures go up and then our deserts no break on site. It is going to stay hot with elevated fire danger, especially Thursday through Saturday. Kimberly and Derek, back to you. I was wondering when May Gray would arrive.